to the Magic Kingdom today. I know I'm a little early. Hello, Shaquille. Hello, Julie. Welcome in. Uh, we've got Ron over here. There he is. I went live a little early, Ron. Hey, Jordan. Welcome in Epcot Forever. Bonjour, Fabrice. Hello, Disney Do Dojo. Welcome in. It's great to see you. I'm a little early today. Just thought I'd catch the Grand Marshal coming down. Hello, Shaquille. Good morning. Good afternoon, actually. Shortly, it will be afternoon. Got the country bears out. Hello, Lala. How are you? Thanks for joining in, Lala. We're going to be seeing the Festival of Fantasy Parade. And it's going to be starting um, at, uh, at noon. We're over here in Frontierland, so it should come by us um, very quickly as this is where it starts. Oh, Disney jo Dojo. That was so good last night. Really enjoyed homecoming. That was great at Disney Springs. Thanks for asking. <laughs> oh. Hi, Rachel. Hey, Rachel Disco. Welcome in. Welcome to Frontierland in the Magic Kingdom. We're waiting for um, the Festival of Fantasy Parade. It's going to begin in about five minutes. Um, yeah, so I just thought that I'd come in a little bit early today. I had a, um, a change to my streaming time. I intended on streaming today at 9 a.m. and um, realized late last evening that my uh, gimbal, my phone clip that goes on my phone to attach to the gimbal was missing. And um, I looked everywhere, we looked everywhere, we could not find it. Um, I, it must have fallen out of my bag in Epcot and I don't really know how because I never take it off the phone. So it's a mystery. Um, so we had to wait till Best Buy opened at 10 o'clock and thank goodness um, the Best Buys here in Orlando um, had my exact gimbal. So, so that was great. Hi, welcome in Main Street, Nick. Hope you're having a great day. Tiki Man fan, how are you? Thanks for coming in. I know I'm a little bit early. Hi, John Surfham. Welcome, it's really good to see you. We're gonna be seeing the Festival of Fantasy Parade. It's a beautiful day in the Magic Kingdom. It's going up to 86 degrees here today. I believe right now it's around 80. Um, and, um, you know, I'm in a t-shirt, no jacket, a, um, a skirt to keep cool. zippity do Doug, hello, welcome in, Doug. It's good to see you. Thanks for coming in. I have some great mods. Thanks for all you do. Grasshopper, hi. It's okay, I just appreciate you coming by and saying, Hello, same with you, Jordan. I understand everybody's working, or a lot of people are working, and after the um, Easter break, uh, the kids are getting back to school, and everybody back to work. And so
So you can see here the crowds today. They are still spring break crowds here in the Magic Kingdom. But I will tell you, we got in and got parked and got straight on a monorail um, without the long lines and straight through um, security and scanning our bands. So, um, but we did get here late. So I'm thinking that, you know, everybody was here, um, you know, close to rope drop because the crowds are, are, are pretty heavy. Good morning, Jordan. These country bears are great. The, um, the last day of the Country Bear Jamboree before it closed for um, refurbishment, um, I was here and um, Epcot Forever was here with me and um, we streamed and we were waiting to get in for um, one of the last shows when the animatronics broke down and um, so we didn't, we just got a walk through but we did get an awesome poster. Um, of the new coming uh, Country Bear Jamboree and uh, Jordan beat me to getting his framed. His is all framed. I still have to get mine framed. Hi Theo Sam Eagle. How are you? Thank you. The Magic Kingdom is my happy place. I love it here. It's a little bit cloudy today, um, which is good. Not such, um, you know, the hot sun isn't um, beating down too much. And when it does, like a cloud comes over in a little while, gives you a little break from it. Here's Ron. Ron's got a spot over here. <laughs> what are you eating? What do you have in your mouth? Oh, your water. Oh, okay. There's his water. All right. <laughs> Yeah, my voice is a little bit, um, a little bit strained today. Sometimes when I stream um, the day before, two days in a row, my voice doesn't quite have a chance to recover. Hi, Poppy. Yes, I'm glad you got your notification. Oh, great. You can listen while you're working at home. That's really great. We appreciate you coming in, Poppy, and we appreciate you subscribing. Hi, Mike Beachman. Welcome in. Great to see you. Hope you're going to enjoy the parade. There's nothing like a parade to start out a stream. Hi, Sarah Dash. Welcome in, Sarah. Queen Honey Bear. Hi. Ohana. Yeah, it's good to see you. Samantha. Hi, Sam. Samantha Love is in the house, everybody. Check out Samantha Lowe's channel. She streams a lot of concerts and a lot of music. Thanks for being here, Sam. Yeah, so um, I was uh, telling uh, chat that um, I uh, last night discovered very late after we got home from Disney Springs that I had lost the clip that clips my phone onto my gimbal. And um, there's no streaming going on without a phone clip. So I had to wait this morning till Best Buy opened at 10 um, to go to Best Buy. And I was very lucky that they had my same gimbal there. Uh, so I, I got a new clip. I actually bought a whole new gimbal. I mean, the price came down on it. So it's good to have a spare of the same gimbal. So I'm happy about that. It's 12 noon, the parade should be starting. Hear ye, hear ye, royal guests from near and far. Welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Friends for a magical celebration in the streets. Dreams 
will come true, hearts will soar, and you will become a part of the magic. I'm gonna just step in the shade a little till the parade comes to us. We can look at Ron for a little bit. No, unfortunately, Sarah, Jordan is not here with us. All right, there I see Beauty and the Beast already back in Frontierland where they start. Thanks everybody for being here. I really appreciate it. We're going to have some fun today. Go on some rides. Hopefully see Grace and play the piano later. Here's the Liberty Bell coming by us right now.
Tinkerbell's really his favorite. <laughs> he likes the Beast and Bell too, though.
Thanks everybody for being here. Thanks all for coming in. Here we have Ron. Ron's with me today. He's hanging out. He's wearing his new shirt yeah. from the um, character warehouse. You know what? And look what it says. Wait, I got to tell them. Disney Cruise. Disney Wish. Yep. And that means that I need to get on that ship. No. If you have a shirt, you have to be on the ship. So, it's illegal I to have I past the Disney store. I seen the shirt through the window. I went in, grabbed it, bought it, left. I'm done. Regina and Jennifer go to the store. They pick up some. They look, say, let's put this in the car. No, I'm going to take them back. Let's do it. <laughs> it takes like an hour to decide on one shirt. But and this morning, you forgot. You thought Regina was with you because we went through the store. And you said, we don't have time to shop. We don't have time to shop. Like, I was going to stop and shop. Oh, yeah. We walked through the Emporium this morning. And he started, like, looking around. And I said, Ron, there's no time right now for shopping. Hi, Chris at the Curtis family. Welcome in. It's good to see you. Oh, Chris, Jen lost all her gimbal connections. Now we have four gimbals because we had to do an emergency run to Best Buy. Wait a buy minute. Now, now, wait a minute. We don't have, well, I guess we do have four. Um, the one is getting eBay, but because that's the one I never used because it was too heavy. The spare one that I was using is going to go to our son, Nick. Main Street Nick. Check out Main Street Nick and his shorts and videos. And then I got a new gimbal because I lost the clamp that goes. Two clamps. Yeah, I did from my old one. So we're ordering some I mean, new you clamps. clamps. on the phone and you take the phone off with the clamp on it. I have no idea how the clamp can get lost. It's like impossible. I know. We but can't figure out. Emergency last yeah, night. we can't figure out what happened to the clamp. So my 9 a.m. stream went to a 12 a.m. stream. It's best by open the tent. Because, um, <laughs> Chris, because we had to wait until Best Buy opened at 10 but um, to get me Lala a spare and, gimbal just for the Jeff clamp. But, but Lala was more than willing. She actually bought Rye Guy's clamp to work with her. Um, and if I didn't have any luck at Best Buy, I was going to stop by and pick up and borrow um, Rye Guy's clamp for my um, phone. But um, I really did need that spare gimbal, so... Um, <laughs> The justification talk. It, it, yeah, yeah, and then I guess we have to call the factory to order just some extra clamps. Look at this. Let's see what these are back here. Thanks, look at some pins. Oh, look, uh, they have like different days. There's Nurses Day. There's a graduation pin, 2024. Here's the Enchanted Tiki Room pin. I think this moves. This does. Look. That's cute. That's a movable pin. I like pins that move. Very cute. Tiki Room. These are all limited editions. Hi. How are you? I think this is... Oh, that's cute, too. Look at that. No, it's a... Lion King. It's not Ratatouille. Okay, they've got some more up here. Let's go back here. Sometimes they have a wall that says um, new, and we'll see if there's some, some new pins here. These are the 100th um, anniversary pins, and they're they're currently 60% off. Hi, David421. Hi, Jason Nudo. How are you? Is there a pin for that? Joy did not graduate in 1924. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so so these are all these are half off. I don't know. I probably have to see. I don't know if they have these are these are priced as pink. We'd have to see what the pink prices are. I should have these memorized memorized. There's always shopping. There's always shopping, David. Yeah, so all of these, um, the silver with just a little bit of color, are um, half off on the 100th anniversary pins. So well, that's kind of cool. Here's the what's new. This is what I was looking for. I like to see this, like what's new in the pins. Okay, here's Donald Duck. This is from the Mexican Pavilion here. This one really doesn't look new. I don't think that's new. Just looking through here. Chris says. What did Chris say? 
Ron needs, Ron a, needs a new condo. I no, 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 Ron oh. needs a pin that says, I'm with the lost lady. <laughs> this is the cutest movie here. Oh, I love that movie. Nice to see they have a pin. Look at Chip and Dale. They're just, they're sleeping. Ratatouille. Nice on the pins. Just to give you an idea um, of the prices, they've got like a, um, a code. So um, the silver, here's the little price wall here. So the silver is $12.99. The yellow fourteen ninety nine and the pink sixteen ninety nine. So yeah. yes, we can shop anytime, isn't that true? Jordan, look at this one. Hi Felix, welcome in. I'm just scrolling my chat trying to catch up here. Nice to see you, Felix. Yeah, so I'm just, um, the temperatures are going to get very high today. I think it's a high of 87 I saw today here in Orlando. So we're just going to be um, cognizant of, you know, making sure that the phone is um, nice and cool. Um, but do you want to walk down, Ron? Do you want to catch the show? There's another show going on. Show show. Um, the show show. There is. Um, the show after the show. <laughs> yeah, Mickey's Friendship Fair is at 12:50. Um, on the stage, Ron. Let's on the go stage. And, let's go and climb that scaffold over there. Oh, he wants to go down there and no. see. Oh, no, you don't. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. Well, we could go down that way, and we could take a ride on the train what instead. Let's do that. Right Let's go down there, and we'll catch the train, and we'll, we'll take a ride on the train. Yeah, I'm going to stay in the shade here. Hi, Debbie Burnfield. Welcome in. It's great to see you. Hope you're doing well. Regina, I know Regina doesn't have her volume on, but Regina hasn't been feeling well. She's been, she has a sinus infection, and I did not know that. Um, I, um, I just found that out. She did not tell me. She told me a little bit, but not that much. That She, she just said she didn't feel up to herself. But she's still going. Nothing keeps Regina down, I'll tell you. You think Triton needs to climb the scaffold? Where'd he go? Chris thinks she, Triton needs to climb the scaffold. Scalpel. I know, David. You know, it's something. Pin prices have gone up, and like most of the ones I looked at were pink, which was $16.99. Now, I will tell you that I frequent the character warehouse. Well, I don't frequent it like some people, but I'm usually there once a month, and they do get pins in there, and those pins like that are $16.99. Now they can get marked down to. Anywhere like from $4.99 to $7.99. So um, you just kind of have to wait. Not all pins end up there, that's for sure. Hi, Trenton. Welcome, Trenton. I appreciate you being here. It's a lovely morning um, in the Magic Kingdom. And um, we just saw the festival of Fantasy Prey. And we're just leisurely strolling through here. I'm going to take a train ride. Ron's very leisurely. Ron, just come and speak in the chat instead of typing. Look at him. Oh, I guess. Uh, Look at him. Yeah, he's yeah, he's trying typing. To, yeah, he's like trying to walk. To he's trying to walk and type. But one good thing, uh, uh, if Regina's not feeling good, I hope she gets better. But uh, she has her volume down. Since there's online shopping, uh, Regina will be fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, she does plenty of that. She keeps me informed of when there's a sale. glad to have you Felix we're glad to have all of you really appreciate it um, they're making great progress over here um, we don't have an opening date yet for Tiana's Bay Adventure but um, just by the looks of it and how they're testing and I would hope that there will be open by Memorial Day that that would be a hope I think that would be a goal for them 
you know, there'll be a lot of people here and it would be great to have um, another ride open. But they'll probably, we'll know when they start the, um, the cast member uh, test. Look at, oh, that's Big Thunder. That's, look at the line for Big Thunder, huh? Wow, that's a long wait time for Big Thunder. We're gonna go over to the train. Right here. Just that I don't want you to get lost. You're not looking at me. You're not. You're not watching where I'm going. I'm making a left there. <laughs> All right. That's why I was making a right. I know. Well, but you want to go on the train. You like the train. So it's very bright out today. I've got my hat on, my Supposed eyes to be are in shaded. The high 80s, tomorrow 90 and then drop it. Yeah. Oh, when is it going to drop, Ron? End Thursday. of the week? Oh, Thursday the temperatures will drop. So, um, I mean, drop to the 70s. Drop to the 70s, yeah. So, we're entering on this side now. Okay, they changed this there. There we go. It will be nice when all the See, construction's down. <laughs> yeah, the train. Um, we always entered the train from the other side. I haven't gotten on at this, um, actually at Frontierland in quite a while. I guess they're not going, come on. Oh, no. You guys wanna do the train ride? Hold on. If you wanna come back around. All right. Yeah, there's no, there's no, She's just there, Ron, to answer questions. Oh, okay. Yeah. There was a cast member there, Ron thought I was the line. cutting oh. in line, and <laughs> it wasn't. What's that? Look at that grass on them rocks. Is that like for a giant eagle nest? No, it looks it's... like a giant eagle nest on the cliff with all the grass. There's grass the everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's just the design. Look. You can see um, how nice this has come along. It looks pretty cool. It doesn't even, you know, it doesn't look there. like it did before at all. Shade. Hopefully we can. I'm all the way down here. Hey guys, I'm all the way down. All the way down. Hi, Wendy B. Welcome in, Wendy. How are you? Let's say hi to the chat room. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Magic hey, Kingdom. Hello, everybody. Good to see y'all. Thanks for being here. Thank goodness Best Buy had stock because the gimbals were never in stock before. Uh, we would have never found those in Pittsburgh in stock. I don't even think we'd have found them in Palm Beach because um, they weren't they, like, yeah, well, they actually, weren't a thing. Well, actually in Palm Beach, the shelves are always empty where they're at, so I guess yeah. they buy them off the lot. Oh, they have us. Hi, Mike. Mike Wasowski from Chicago is here. Oh, there is a line for the train. Shouldn't be that long. We should get on the next one. How's the weather out there, Mike, in Chicago? It warmed up. My sister lives some um, Midwest kind of. Stephanie. Well, no, she She's moved in. One the she was in yeah. the, uh, uh, what was that? North of Chicago. Um, no, she doesn't live in Crystal Lake anymore. Crystal, yeah. Right She's there. in Indiana. Yeah. She but um, Indiana. she was riding motorcycles the other day, and I what? said, Stephanie, my sister, she has one of those Vespas. Oh, and she has a Vespa. Yeah. She, yeah, she like rides. In park. She said it was beautiful. I thought Here's she was a jogger thunder. or a runner. Why does she ride a Vespa? Well, I don't know. I should show you the picture. It looked a lot bigger than her other one. So maybe she got like a full blown motorcycle now. My mother would strangle her for riding a street bike. 
you know? Or is that? Well, I don't think you could take a Vespa on the highway. I guess you can, but... Yeah, well, I don't think she wasn't riding on a highway, but... Do you like his shirt, Felix? It is a great shirt, isn't it? But what I'm saying is, it is a Disney Wish shirt. And um, we have not been on a Disney cruise yet. And I, I really think if you're going to buy a Disney cruise shirt that you, you kind of need to be planning a Disney cruise so you can wear it. I'm going to wear it on my like, Carnival and Royal. He's going to wear it on other cruise lines, he said. Oh, i got to put my phone over my, um, let's see, which one? I mean, realistically, there's only one problem with Disney cruises. You can take four other cruises. Ron's collar's blue. You said that what yesterday too, Wendy, or somebody in chat sent, said it. I think it was you. Yeah, he looks good in blue. Does that mean I don't look good in my other color? No, no, that doesn't mean that at all, Ron. It's just that look extra good in blue. I, I gotta get in. I've got to get in the him. shade. Is there any way they can move up at all to get me in the shade? No. Can they? Let me. Let me just. Let me. Excuse me. I'm gonna move up, but I will wait my turn. I just need to get into the shade. Thank you. I'm not cutting in line. I'm just in the shade. <laughs> so there we go. Um, yeah, because the phone, this is a new, um, well, it's not new. I've been streaming with this phone for quite a, a few months now, but um, I have not had it in the hot summer months. So um, I did have an occasion where it overheated um, while we were watching um, Mickey's Friendship Fair stage show, and the sun was beating right on it. So I kind of have to be careful until I get a good handle on it. Um, <laughs> and know exactly, you know, how many minutes it can take the hot sun. Yeah, Ron, I didn't ramp though. I just excused myself. I, I'm not cutting in line. I'm just, you know, getting in the shade and saying that, um, you know, I'll wait my turn. I'll wait for you right here. So the train should be momentarily coming. <laughs> Wendy and Ron. <laughs> Somebody in this chat, I think it was, I don't know if it was you, Wendy, last night. I don't know what Steve was trying to do, but he says, somebody said, elbows out. It was funny. He was trying to get a spot in somewhere. Uh, but, um, yeah. Hi, Joe. Welcome in, Joe. Nice to see you. A phone Paris. That would be that would be extraordinary, Verna Marie. I don't know if they said such a thing. It would it wouldn't be able to connect onto my phone. It would have to be able to connect onto the gimbal somehow. And um, probably like at the base of it or like maybe on my shoulder where it just I don't know. I'd have to Ron thinks a little fan would work. Um, but I don't know when you have that bright sun. Hi, Ellie. How are you? Ellie from Scotland. I hope you're having a wonderful afternoon for you. It's, it's early evening. Welcome in, Ellie. Regina's in school. She's teaching today. She may have a stream on, but watching chat, but I think it's muted. Oh my gosh, Wendy, Ron's telling Tony about some TV show on it, too. Oh, that's funny. It's nice here in the train station, although it's not air conditioned at all. You can see they have um, they have the big fans running, so, so there's kind of a nice breeze. And they have this like reconfigured. We used to come in that door from that side and the staircase down the other way and um, since the construction they, they put us over here on the left side 
which is fine. Oh wow, Ellie, you're on it. That's great. We had a good time last night. We were in um, Disney Springs and um, we were with uh, Lala and Rai Guy um, on uh, Steve's World stream. We were hanging out with Steve all evening, um, had a nice time. Ron learned what Basin was in Disney Springs where you can take their, um, they sell all kind of soaps and scrubs and bath bombs there if you're not familiar with Basin. But Ron um, had the Basin experience for the first time where he scrubbed his hands with a, with a sugar scrub, uh, hand scrub. And, and then he, he tried the orange and then he said, oh, they have cherry over here. I'm going to try the cherry too. And I was laughing. Um, it was funny, wasn't it, Wendy? Yeah. If um, you're not familiar with Steve's World, uh, Steve's World's on Monday evening. Um, he typically starts at 6. And um, goes to all different locations in the Disney parks. And um, we went to homecoming last night in Disney Springs for dinner. And they're famous at homecoming for their chicken and um, their mashed potatoes and their deviled eggs are very, very popular. And I had those. One had the chicken. And um, it was really good. Lala had um, catfish sandwich. Hi, Suzanne. How are you? How are you feeling, Suzanne? I hope you're doing well. We're waiting for the train. <laughs> Ron says, here it comes. I see it, Ron. He's behind me. He's so funny. We love our Ninja Watchers Disney Dojo. Get things done. They are, they really are, Verna Marie. Such a great couple. Really enjoy their company. Sanders, welcome in. Good to see you. We're here in Frontierland. We're going to take a ride on the train. So we'll get on. a good view here. What's going on in this area? There's that, that pretty mural back here. Really nice. Hi Mike, welcome in Mike Klemovich. Great to see you. 
Okay, so it just says maybe it's the one with the refresh button and tap going to. So if you want to get zoom your phone and do it, or do you want to do it? Okay. It's not anything difficult, but I don't know. I don't know what that is. Okay. Oh, is that thunder around there? Big thunder's over there to the right. You can. It's just like a train road. Kind of hard to see coming around there. You want to say something? Yeah, Jennifer still, when she leaves, like if she's going to come up here for a day or something, I'm not here. She still tells me, okay, everything's clean in the dishwasher, though, so I don't put nothing early in it or dirty in it. And then she says, so you can get your plates and cups out of there. The second she leaves, I go to my private stash of paper plates and cups in the office. And I haven't opened that dishwasher in 20 years. What made you think of that, Rod? Somebody, uh, uh, Ellie said oh, Ellie said yeah, all her dishwashers are done. Yeah, Ron's yeah. not much for housework at all. That's all right. He does a lot of other things for me. Everybody has their strong points. I'll grab one. I don't know if you can see the thunder over there. It's it's rolling around. How cold is it up there, Mike? Private stash. Yeah, Wendy. Do you know he hides them in like the spare bedroom closet? Uh, he always has paper plates hidden somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where they always are. Just whip them out, throw KFC on them, and throw it in the microwave, and I'm set. We really did enjoy our food last night at homecoming um, with Steve's World and um, Rye Guy and Lala Felix. It was all good. I had, like, I had this trio where you could get three sides. And then I order the deviled eggs like for the appetizer for like a protein rather than like chicken or meat. And um, I really liked it. And the green beans were delicious. They were like French style green beans. And they were, um, Rye, Rye Guy explained it that they were smoked green beans. So like, that they were maybe like smoked underneath like a meat that was being smoked and like the drippings from the meat were dripping into the green beans and made them like nice and greasy and there was little pieces of bacon in there and um, boy I'll tell you what those green beans were really good. They do have the restrooms open back here behind this. And they're still, it looks like they're still using this area um, for construction materials. Howdy, folks! If you're just joining us, a hearty welcome aboard. We're heading for our next stop, Fantasyland, before carrying on to Main Street, USA. Everybody stay seated and keep your hands and arms, feet and legs safely inside the train. And as always, keep an eye on your little ones. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. Those of you who've been riding with me for a spell already know how much I love minding this railroad. But for those times I'm fixing for something a bit wilder, Big Thunder Mountain is the place. Because there, the trains have a mind of their own. The change in scenery means we've left the rattle and rumble of that old gold mine behind and entered my favorite leg of the journey. Lush wilderness, calm waters, and untamed beauty. Folks, we're in Nietzsche's Wonderland. Isn't it something? Just think of the extraordinary things to see and do in these woods. 
Hiking trails, bird there. calls, fireflies, and starry nights. Setting out for adventure at sunrise. I think it's a and telling the tale in the around a campfire that night. Considering how wonderful things are out here, I'm fortunate that some of my closest friends call it home. That village is a truly special place. Folks, we're just about out of the woods and into the forest. The enchanted forest of Fantasyland, where magic... Listen. Hear that? There it is! On that big metal snake! Oh, Peter, that's not a snake. It's a train. Train, huh? Well, I think it's finally time I trained my shadow to stay put. Hey, get back here, shadow. Shadow! Oh, Tinkerbell, we really must find some stronger friends. Told you it's enchanted, and not just the forest. From the tips of castle spires to the sands under the sea, magic and happily ever afters await around every corner in Fantasyland. Welcome, Megan. I know there was a fire over there. Not right now, but they have put out a fire. Over there. The change in friends, travelers, children of all ages. We're coming down the track and headed straight for the stupendous, the sensational, the spectacularific Fantasyland Storybook Circus. This is the place to soar with Dumbo or join Goofy in his stunt plane for some airborne acrobatics. This station is also your gateway to the rest of Fantasyland and Tomorrowland. Now, please wait until the train has come to a complete stop. Gather your juggling pins, unicycles, and other belongings, and carry your strollers away from the platform before unfolding. That way, we can start loading up for the next leg of our trip. For those disembarking, please watch your step, and thanks for traveling with us. I hope you join us again real soon. If you're staying aboard, our next stop is Main Street Station. Main Street. Just stay here. I'm gonna do a refresh. I see a little bit of lag on my This will be your closest stop to Tomorrowland. No, I met after the, uh, the Pirate Blue Cricket right after, like, Oh, you want to come to Fantasyland? Yeah. Fantasyland's fun. And then we'll have... That looks really good. You know, no, 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 no. And then, uh... The she's scared. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no,
Oh, Neil's playing today? Okay, well, Neil's good too. I don't know, I just automatically say Grayson. But Neil's great. Go see Neil for a little bit. I looked at the wait times earlier on the people mover, which they were really long. I was surprised. Maybe we'll um, we'll check out a couple other uh, shows. Um, Carousel of Progress is always a good one. The train seems to be more crowded than usual. I've never had a way in my life. Hi, Brian. Welcome in, Brian Hernsberger. Good to see you. I know that's your favorite mic. I like it too. <laughs> We're all getting in the car with Wendy B. She's going to Publix. You don't pay it back. If you pay it back, that's free money. Yes, that's free money. Yes, it is. It is free to pay it back. It's access to more money for free money. No, it's, it's free money when you use it. Instant access to this amount of money. Mike, what are your grocery store chains up there, up north? Um, we have a Publix down here. That's our main store. Giant Eagle. Does he have Giant Eagle the same as uh, Pennsylvania? Mike's in New York. In New York? Yeah. I don't know if Giant Eagle went north. I think they're coming south. I think they're down to the Carolinas. It usually moves pretty fast. Yeah. I just thought 40 minutes, and maybe because I don't know if it had it had stopped and backed up or, or what, but we'll check it again when we get over there. Maybe they should Looks like we're on our way, and I'm so glad to have you with us. Next leg of our journey takes us to Main Street, USA. We'll head for Frontierland after that. Stay seated and keep your hands and arms, feet and legs inside the train at all times. Oh, and please keep an eye on your children. Para su seguridad, permanezca sentado y mantenga las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del tren. Y cuide a los pequeños. Gracias. Next stop is a place that's always ahead of the curve. And not just because we're on a straightaway. <laughs> Our metropolis of mechanical marvels, Tomorrowland. Let's watch this close in here. This, this is the tunnel, guys. Sometimes we experience lagging here. As you know, I love here. this railroad about as much as a songbird loves the morning. But I'm still awed by the rockets and space. of boundless optimism, the possibilities are endless. You might say the sky's the limit, but even that is no obstacle in Tomorrowland.
give it a little refresh. And I hope you've enjoyed your journey as much as I've appreciated being a part of it. We're now approaching our most charming destination, Main Street, USA. A place where the only thing sweeter than the townsfolk is the treats. After our stop, we'll be heading for Frontierland, followed by a visit to Fantasyland. For now, stay seated until our train comes to a complete stop. Then pick up your belongings and carefully disembark. Welcome if you have Jeff. strollers to unfold, please take them all the way beyond the platform so Great new passengers Daniel. can safely hop aboard. It'd be mighty kind of them. And while we're being neighborly, what say we give our fellow travelers a friendly wave hello? This is Main Street Station, after all. Welcome to Main Street, USA. Yeah. Please remain seated until the train comes to a full and complete stop. And I give you all clear once again. Please remain seated. We are all clear, everyone. Watch your head and step, and welcome to Main Street, USA. All right, we're on Main Street. We're going to get off here. Take a little walk down Main Street. Yeah, there's always a little bit of lag at that Tron Tunnel. Hello. Yeah, Mike, we can go shopping, sure. You never have to ask me that twice. <laughs> oh my goodness, so... Yeah, this morning was a little bit hectic. I was a little bit nervous. I, I reset the stream for noon, um, figuring that I would be able to get to Best Buy at 10 when they opened and back to the Magic Kingdom. Um, by noon and that worked out so you never know about the traffic in Orlando and I-4 and the whole bit. We went to the Millennial, Millennial Mall, is that where we went? The Best what? Buy at Millennial? Yeah. Yeah. Hi Little Mermaid fan, welcome in Belinda. How are you? Oh, thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. We just got off the train here. It's a lovely day here. Let me take a look and um, see where, what some times are. We'll go in the Emporium. We, we have some time. Um, I think the for Dan's are in like 15 minutes. So we'll come out and we'll see them. Hi, Elfie. Welcome in. Great to see you. But yeah, so, um, so I have an extra gimbal. Oh, well can always use it. Hi, Cy. Welcome in, Cy. I hope you and Cynthia are having a wonderful time in Hollywood Studios and Race 2. Hope you had a great evening last night. Extra gimbal. You mean four gimbals. Well, it's an extra one. <laughs> Nick has the other one and one's going to get eBay. So we have to. Hey, Jason. Welcome in, Jason Thibodeau. Richard Scott, it's good to see you. Thank you for coming in. I appreciate it. So, like, if you look at the crowds today, I mean, they're still, like, in my opinion, they're still, you know, spring break crowds. What do you think, Ron? Uh, Hi, Big Orange. Orange. Welcome in. Good to see you. Um, so, Let's go in the Emporium. We have about 15 minutes. Can you keep track of time for me, Ron? What time do you want me to um, go? On the 15 mark, we need to come out. Exactly 15? Um, yeah, like a minute before would be good. The um, Dapper Dance are at 1.15. Okay. okay. All right. Rob Law is in there. you get lost with shopping frenzy. <laughs> Hi, Rob. I think Ron had a band name. What? Did you call? Did you have a band name for Rob Law? He just he, came in. All these, but he told me the lawyers caught that one, so he had to change it. So he <laughs> needs a new one. Okay, I think dude, he's going to call didn't Main see Street. Welcome in, Rob. Welcome in. All right, let's go in here. We're going to go in the Emporium. 
Samantha, I like this lot, this powder blue. I saw this on Diz Our Dream Stream. Um, look on Sunday. I think it was Sunday or one of the days, maybe Saturday. But look at this. I love this. It's their their spirit jerseys though, and I really wish they would have a T-shirt because you know it's getting too warm for spirit jerseys. And they've got this beautiful look sparkle bag. I don't have a sparkle bag, um, so that would be something to have, I think. I don't even think there's any powder blue t-shirts anywhere. I know they have the ears to go with them. Here's the ears, and I think these ears are, I don't, oh, here's the price of the ears. $34.99 on the ears. Now, that's not bad. Some of the sparkle ears are like $44. I, I think if they have like a little emblem here, um, they can be Yes, nobody needs a sparkle bag ever, Jeff. Yes, Jeff. We need bling. We need sparkle in our lives. Of course, it makes us happy. <laughs> Sai, you tell him, Sai. I love this. This is like, um, this is this new collection. They've got a whole collection around this summer collection. So cute. Look at this. This is a spring break t-shirt. Here they have the, um, when you buy two tees, they're 25 each. And you know what, like, if you get your tees and you get that deal, like, it used to be that that Uniqlo shop in Disney Springs was a really good deal um, for Disney shirts because they were so much less. Theirs are $24.99 now, so you're talking the same price there now as buying them in the park. I've been looking at this little bag for a long time, this little wallet. It's cute. It would go with everything and just if you're running out and you don't want to take much with you and all you need is like your credit card and your license, $29.99 on that. And it's a crossbody, it's cute. Do you want to shop, Ron? You want to see the Small World jer Spirit Jersey? Okay. I don't know where that is, Mike. The Small World Spirit Jersey. I like this t-shirt. This is really cute. $39.99 on that. You have um, Walt and the castle and Mickey. That's really cute. I like, like this is really lightweight. Like to me, this is almost just like wearing a t-shirt. It says the sleeves are a little longer, but like you don't need to put sunblock all over you if you have your arms covered. I just don't like being covered in sunblock. Can you cry? Stay with me because we're going to go through and I'm going to need your help to hold up something. You can put your phone away. Yeah. No, no. No? Put okay. Put the phone away. You say, get it out, get it out. <laughs> no, no. Oh, that's just if I'm worried about lag. I, yeah. I say that, yeah. Mike's looking for a... Um, These are all winter stuff. You've got to get this, like, summer stuff. Oh, Sai, it was just something little. You're welcome. <laughs> Mike's looking for the small world jersey. Like, I don't know. Here's some play in the parks. Um, this is a pretty jersey. They've had this for a long time. Hey, Jeffrey Pop. Welcome in. It's good to see you. These are um, $69.99, and last night Steve commented that, you know, this doesn't have that line going across that he doesn't like on the spirit jersey. Okay, guys, can you, um, you're going to have to guide me to where that might be because I have not seen it. Okay, these are the, you know, the, um, the treat jerseys, the snack jerseys. These are the pizza ones here. Um, Ron, <laughs> here's the problem I have. Okay, he doesn't keep his eyes on me and then I lose you totally in the store. Yeah. All right. I'm going to have to maybe ask a cast member where those are. And I will. I will. Yeah, Ron likes these for up north. But I mean... It's like late for them to be here still in the park. It's springtime. And I like this just classic. 
Mickey shirt. I like how Mickey's face is on it. It's it's a little different. Thirty four ninety nine on this shirt. Put a balloon on Ron Ernest. Stop you. That's a good idea. Welcome in, Ernest. I could put a balloon on him. Yeah. Then I would see him. A child leash. <laughs> yeah. So here's the rest of the. Um, here's the rest of this. There's the. Um, lounge fly here and I I think this is glow in the dark if I'm not mistaken my son Nick told me it was glow in the dark yeah. it is yeah you see that it says glow in the dark on that and the price on that is $88 and they've got the ears they've got this is like in the series too it's like a little um, insulated bag for $19.99 and they've got lots of um, Children's shirts here, little shorts. I like this because I'm always looking for a jacket. This is terry cloth. This is nice. I'm going to ask a cast member. I am. Let me locate one, Mike. Did you see it at Disney Springs by chance or did you um, at all on any stream? I'm just wondering. Here she is. Excuse me. Oh, these ladies. Do you know where the Small World Spirit jersey is? I'm looking for the Small World Spirit jersey. It's a new spirit jersey. It's Small World. I the Small World. I never seen it. No, I don't think you have it. You don't have it in here. I never seen it. You never saw it. it. No. Yeah, I okay. Um, I don't know, Mike. They're saying they don't have it in here. Hi, Regina. We're looking for the Small World jersey. The cast members saying they don't have it in here. Um, I haven't seen it. This is all the play in the park here. Maybe it's only on Shop Disney, or maybe it's at um, Disney Springs. Although I didn't, we didn't spend a lot of time um, at Disney Springs last night in World of Disney, but. Um, I didn't see it. Here's like the four park stuff right here. Shirt. This is a pretty shirt. I, I still like this shirt. You have this whole winter stuff up. No, I mean this shirt's really light, Ron. It's really light. It is a, um it's expensive though, forty four ninety nine just for a t shirt. I I don't know, I think that's a little bit pricey. Hey look at this, Jennifer. Shouldn't this be for a longer Yeah. Look at that baseball shirt. Yeah. That's cute. That's very nice. I think it's a girl's that. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's for both, but the button's on one side. Let me ask her as well. Excuse me. Have you seen the Small World Spirit jersey? It's a new spirit jersey that's out. Small World. We don't have it, fortunately, here. I would check by Fantasyland, because that's where the merch usually goes first. Or Big Pop a big top. Okay, yeah, we'll check in Fantasyland then. We're in Fantasyland though. There's it's right there. after that um, castle. It's like Sir Mickey's. That shop in there. In Sir Mickey's. Yeah. Where they have like the girls dress up. They have a couple of them. Yeah, they dress. have more like the princess. The princess there, yeah. dresses. Okay. All right. Thank you. Oh, there's a really pretty cup over here. Wait a minute. She told me. Excuse me. Man. Careful. Come on out. $16.99 on this. It's pretty. Yeah. She has a special cell for Regina, but she, she doesn't has to be have, present. She doesn't have her volume up, Ron. She's oh, she at school, know. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she loves the baseball jersey. That Regina does love the jersey. Yeah. Yeah, Regina has this hat, and she got the backpack. They don't have the backpack here anymore. At least right here, they do have the cross, um, the, the sling bag, I call it. Yeah, Regina, I don't think you have your sound up, um, but um, Ron was trying to prank you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike, they don't have it. Both um, cast members, three cast members say they don't have it. And um, this is the pink shirt that we all got. Three of us bought this pink shirt. We liked it a lot. Comes in some other colors here. This is a nice Thomas Kincaid puzzle. It's a thousand piece puzzle. You like, yeah, the sling bags, that, 
I mean, you could wear that as a fanny pack. It would be a really big fanny pack, so I, I, I think it's more like a sling bag. I like the slings. How's the time doing, Ron? For my time checker. Okay, we have a few more, a few more minutes. Now they moved all the plushes back here on this side. They still don't have Max and, um, plushes. I don't know why they don't have Max. Yeah, Ron's always looking for Max for our little Layla, and they don't. But we can look at these T-shirts here because there's there's some um, new ones. kind of see the t-shirts these are the ones that um, these are um, the U shirts here for the kids and um, $7.99 each if you buy two so they've got all kinds did you want in here no no I was just gonna <laughs> it's fine there you go okay I like this one there look at Anna and Elsa with Olaf it's a cute one there's one from Up. Like five years ago, I used to be able to wear a kid's extra large, but that, <laughs> that time passed. I used to get away with buying um, a ch you know, less money on my Disney shirts and my um, hoodies and stuff. But I think, they, I think they started making the kids extra larges smaller, oh, actually. Is that what I think that's the problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, Doug's going to be here. I thought this was an interesting cup here um, because, like, we're always traveling in the car with our, our coffee, um, especially when we're driving to Disney early morning. And um, it's pretty pricey. It's $54.99 right now. But I like that it had a handle on it because... You know, you're always, the, the cups are like smaller at the bottom a lot and wider at the top and you're always like, my hands are not that big. Struggling to grab the cup at the top, but I would really enjoy having a handle like that on it. And, and there's no seam cup. in that cup. And there's no seam in that cup, yeah. Shrinkflation, Ernest says. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Ernest, I really think that because, I mean, I put on some weight, but I didn't put on all that much weight. Um, but um, anyway, <laughs> it's coming off slow. It's a slow go. Boy, it can come on fast and then it's... Uh, this is one of my favorite cups Regina got me. It's all about the fireworks because I just love the fireworks, whether they're luminous in Epcot or uh, Happily Ever After here at the Magic Kingdom. And um, here's some Disney cups. Okay. All right. I just wanted to mention some of these are at the Character Warehouse. They're $16.99 here for $7.99 at the Character Warehouse. So um, if you're looking for cops, take a look there if you're in the area. Usually the Dapper Dance will come down here, yeah. We'll see where they're going to perform today. Like, they'll be right out in the sun if they come where they uh, usually do, have been lately. We have to find that um, Small World um, Spirit jersey. We'll look back in... Um, We'll go to the big top back there. We'll look in that store back there and see if they may have it. She could have probably checked for us. The thing is, we didn't have a... Ron, right here. Ron. Ron. Here. This is where they usually come out and play, right here. Yeah. Here they come. See there? There they are. Here come the Dapper Dans. Let's see where they're headed. All right. I love this game. It's reaching out to people. 
<laughs> That's right. This one's a big old country classic. It's titled, I Call My Horse Mayo. The Sometimes Mayonnaise. <laughs> what kind of mayonnaise? That's good. 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 That's Oh my goodness. Thank you too, ladies. All right, you want a second thought, folks? I think we should sing a classic Disney tune for the folks. And uh, how about we do one about our favorite gal? Uh, she's practically perfect in every way. Oh, late in the morning day, right as the morning may, I feel like I could fly. Have you ever seen the grass so green?
Why? Because the horns don't work. Oh. <laughs> Just practice it. Happy you know you clap your hands. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, lift your nose. No. So if someone clap it off, that's no. it. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, then it's a star. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can run to the top. If you're like, that's the top. Okay, go ahead. 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 Go the favorite song. Which one is that? The last one. Let's <laughs> the super gal. Here we go. for dance. I love the little bit of tap dancing they do. I just love tap dancing. Okay, 0568. We've got a treat over here. Let me um, let me try and pick this up. Zippity doo dog. You did not have to do that, but thank you very much. I did see his message, Jeannie, and I've got the number 0568. Yeah, we'll get in line. Uh, no, we get in line. I, I don't want to cut in front of people. What? <laughs> oh, I have a dog. Thank you very much. Hi, Main Street Nick. Nikki, Doug got us a treat here at the Main Street Confectionery. And um, are you in line too? Yes. Okay, that's fine. The sides. No, I guess there's a line for each side, so that's good. So we're just waiting, Nick, to pick it up. We've got our number, waiting to see what it is. Oh my gosh, I, I'm just looking around in here, and I could like gain five pounds just by looking, I think. 
I just said in chat I couldn't fit into a kid's extra large anymore that I could five years ago. And that gets me a <laughs> confectionery treat. <laughs> oh, one treat's not going to hurt. Let's just welcome everybody in. Welcome in everybody, how are you? It's a great day here in the Magic Kingdom. I'm Jennifer Caruso, this is my husband Ron. If you're new to the channel, you're ninja watching, um, we're happy to have you here. I live stream and vlog Disney cruises and travel and adventure. So thank you all for being here. <laughs> He's terrible. Hi. I have a um, treat um, 0568 call in, order number 0568. It should be ready for pickup. Oh, Thank you. Oh my gosh, it feels pretty heavy. Let's see what it is. Can you pull it out, Ron? Can you put your pen down? There you go. Ron's going to pull it out. Let's see what that treat Whoa, is. It's like a pie. Pull it out. Oh, wow. What is this called? This looks good. What this is, is like this? It's a brownie cookie pie. It's a brownie? A brownie cookie pie. A brownie cookie pie. Wow, look at that. Wow. We're going to need some napkins. <laughs> oh, there's go ahead. Try it, Ron. Let me see it. Ron's going to try it first. Is it sweet? Yeah, it's good. All right, well, let's walk up to, um, there. You want to put these in the bag and then, uh, no, in the bag? Okay, I wanted to put a fork in there. Put a fork in there. All right, and let's walk up um, to Casey's and we can probably get a little seat there and eat our treat and maybe listen to the piano. Are you eat more? Dog, he's gonna oh, eat it. Oh, oh, it's a brownie pie with M&M's. Okay, oh, no. there's M&M's, you're not gonna eat more? You can have as much as you want. Oh my gosh, don't forget your phone. <laughs> All right, let's go out here. We'll walk down Main Street. So, you know, to me, um, a day's complete in the Magic Kingdom. If you can see the parade, if you can hear the Dapper Dance, go on a couple of rides, listen to the piano up here at Casey's for a little bit, and either definitely the People Mover or the Carousel of Progress. Did Ron eat lunch yet? Ron doesn't eat lunch, dog. Ron only eats dinner. He doesn't eat, usually eat lunch, but like he'll snack on some peanuts or, or maybe a banana. Um, and like he'll eat breakfast on the weekends if I have like ham and eggs oh, or bacon and eggs. Too. I'm down 10. Yeah, he's down 10 pounds, but um, he always tells me when he gets home from Disney he gains I weight. Do. He yeah. doesn't know why that is. Because like yesterday we walked 18,000 steps. So. That's pretty many steps, you know, it's a good many steps. Um, but I don't know, I don't know if he just eats more here or eats the wrong thing here or what, but um, he always complains about gaining weight when he comes to Disney. I don't, I, if I'm at Disney, I don't gain yes. weight. Hi Molly, how are you? It's good to see you. Russ. Ron's gonna eat it up before y'all get there. I, he'll leave me a little bite, he will. Okay, Regina, bye. Nice seeing you. Great to see you. Let's see if we can scoot in a table over here or a little somewhere. Actually, over here where the piano players come is a good spot. Let's go right here. Hi, how are you? Can you hold my gimbal while I get my tripod over on? Look, maybe give a, a little view up that way. 
There's the castle. Nice boat. Oh. Hey, no school story. Yeah. Right there. Wow, Lala even knew who the. Uh, yeah, it's Neil. He's playing today. Oops. I got it. I got it. Hello, how are you today? All right, I'm gonna try this treat while we're. Let me get him. Let's see, we need it to go up a little.
people request them. Oh, I don't know if he's taking requests yet. Hi, Sam. Yeah, I'm okay, Sam. Robert Dixon, welcome.
afterwards, so I don't know. I've never seen her finish yours, so. <laughs> You like it? Can you tell a difference? Oh yes. All yeah. The keys work. All the keys work. I guess that makes a big difference. For now. For now. For now. Where did the old one go? Yeehaw ball. Take care of that. I don't know. You don't know where it went. Okay. I think they were keeping one back up, and I'm not sure which one was in better shape. So. All right. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. All right, nice meeting nice you. Yeah. Wow. Say hello to Cheryl. Stream crossing. <laughs> Everybody stream at once. Everybody stream at once. I, I, I want to have some stream, stream, stream wars. It's a new show. Stream wars. Stream wars. <laughs> we know <laughs> war, though. We all love each I other. Know, We're all yes. friends. Very there good there to come. I know, but if somebody will definitely find a way to do that. Uh, okay. There probably are. They're out there. Don't say that around me. I around Ron. I try to stay away from yes. them. <laughs> All right. Have a great time you out too. there. Bye. 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 Nice meeting you. All right. We're going to head over to um, um, Tomorrowland, guys. Clap like a seal for Neil. All right. Here we go. Wait. I do need that. I do need that attachment for Ron. Maybe we just need to hold hands. Here. We need to hold hands like we did when we were when we were first dating. There we go. Hi, Sarah P. Welcome in, Sarah. It's good to see you. We've been having some fun, listening to some music. We we had the parade. We had the Dapper Dance. You got too many rings on them. We, <laughs> we just saw Neil at oh, Casey's so Corner many. on the piano. And um, we're going to head over and we're going to we're going to see how the people move our weight looks and also um, the carousel of progress over in Fantasyland. There is a show starting at the Magical Friendship Fair, but I think we've had a good bit of music and maybe we need a couple rides. For me, there's never enough music, but... <laughs> The sun is shining really brightly now as well. So um, the last time that I streamed the um, Mickey's Friendship Fair um, in the bright sun like this, uh, my phone overheated. So you know what, Ron? I should have taken my case off today. Hi, Steve. How are you? Steve Moyers from Arizona. It's good to see you. Is this your first time here, Steve? I don't remember your name at least coming into chat before. We're happy to have you here. Ray, we had the best time last night with Steve's World. He was so funny. I mean, Ry Guy was just hysterical. He kept us laughing. Well, his imitations, his <laughs> imitations of hey, Jennifer Andrew. and Jeff were just priceless. Welcome, Andrew. It's good to see you. It is. Well, you know what? We're going to say hello because it's Steve's first time well, let's here, get right? This one from the okay. It won't. Wait, that's too high up to see. So. Yeah. All right. Welcome in. Welcome in, Steve. It's good to see you. It's good from to Arizona, see you. From Arizona, right? Andrew, yeah, from it's Arizona. It's got to be hotter there. Yeah, so I'm complaining about this heat, but I'll bet it's a lot hotter out there in Arizona. I've been to Arizona. I've been to Scottsdale and Phoenix, and um, it's beautiful. My favorite place in Arizona, though, are where those big red rocks are. Um, what's it called? It's, you, they have pink jeeps you can drive around. Sedona. 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 Yes, I love Sedona. That's oh, it. That's it. Sedona is one of my favorite places. I always told Ron if I ever ran away, he'd find me in Sedona. <laughs> I'm not running away. 40 years we've been married, guys. We met in high school. So um, together forever. That's it.
All right, here we go. Why do they have a standby entrance for what? Oh, that's for Monsters Inc. Wow, look at that. They're way back here lined up. Yeah. Your voice is sync. It's sync? Good. 40 years, Ray. It will be 41 on May 21st. That's our anniversary. It will be 41 years. That's a long time. We kind of like grew up together, you might as well say. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I didn't mean this to be a congratulations uh, thing. I don't even know what made me say that, but um, anyway. Eighty-three. Eighty-three, Andrew. Yes, Verna Marie, 40 years. I wore Ron out so many roads, it's unbelievable. I can't even believe it. You're glad he refreshed his hands last night after. I saw your comment. I saw that, Ray. Um, I don't know. I didn't get a chance to comment on your comment, but Ray said he was glad you refreshed your hands from being rough from all your four condo demo you've been oh, yeah. doing. Ron's been, uh, Ron loves to have a construction project all the time. Hi. And um, so um, recently we got a, shake on. Recently we got a, um, a project, um, a condo that's undergoing um, total remodeling. And um, he's been doing all the demo himself. And, um, and during that demo, uh -huh. all my injuries came from non-construction. Yeah. He slammed his finger in the door. What else did you do in your car door yeah, recently? Oh, look there, look here. Yeah, look yeah. at that finger of his. Can you see that? I don't know. Yeah. Turn it sideways. Keep it still. Yeah, it's hard to see. But yeah, the nail turned like. And then that and cut, then he, the, it popped, the blood popped yeah, off. Yeah, and then he has a little so cut on it. What else did you do? I don't know, but. Um, hurt my toe. Yeah, we're going to carousel progress. Uh, did it just start, Ron? Are we? Do we have to wait? Yeah. Yeah, it's about 20 minutes. I don't know if I want to go somewhere else and wait. Or let me see. Um, look at the people mover. That line looks pretty ominous over there, too, huh? So let's go here. We'll, see. we'll ask them how long it is. But we'll talk to you for a little bit if we have to wait. So about how long? About how long is it? It's a 20 minutes. So we have 20 minutes here to wait? No, it's 22 minutes. It starts to make this many minutes. Okay. I don't get 18 minutes? 18 minutes? Okay. <laughs> Somebody do that said. Somebody do Dyke said he just ordered a child's leash for you and it's gonna be delivered to the house oh, Thursday. A child's leash. Oh my gosh. Does he need ice or anything? Mike, no, it's an old it's an old it's a week old injury. He's good. <clears throat> Hi Tyler Silva, how are you? Welcome in. Happy Tuesday to you. It's good to see you. Yes, it was April Fool's Day yesterday, and we really didn't get any bad fools, did we? I don't think we did. Um, we'll just look out here for a little bit and um, kind of look at the crowds, the people movers moving. What else, what else did you do besides that finger? I know you did something else. What else did you hurt? I, I, oh, your toe. Yeah. Oh, he hurt his clean big toe. in the room. He hurt his big toe. And um, you have me he, clean was, up he was icing the big toe and the little finger. So we, we had a toe from. But you know what, guys? But it's I'm ready not to an 18 it minute wait. You can tell me that, Doug. Okay. No, he said eight, every two minutes they, they reopen. It's a 20 minute show. Oh. But since there's multiple screens. Oh, okay. He didn't want to respond to you very good. That's an unhappy cast member. Hi, Debbie Thunard. How are you? It's good to see you. Welcome in. Oh, 
All right, we're in the Carousel of Progress. We're going to go in here. We're going to get a seat. Hopefully, we have a, maintained a good signal um, throughout there. I, I think it's a little bit better to get a little central um, because there's so many doors. Do you know what I mean? Maybe down here. You tell me what. Yeah. Here. It's kind of towards the end, but really not. Let's let these people through. Do you guys want to go here and pass us? You're okay? Okay. All right. They said they're good. It's nice and cool in here anyway, isn't it? Ron, <laughs> this is Ron's snapping place. Oh my gosh. That's so funny. Wait for Rover the dog, Mike. <laughs> I hope if they ever um, refurbish this, they leave Rover the dog. He needs to stay. Mike, Mike, said, Mike said there's no napping on this ride for you, Ron. I might sit behind one of the little girls. Just well, to, I'm going to move down so. the theater will be rotating several times. Once the theater starts rotating, there is no exiting. We there we go. Ron, move down a couple right minutes. here by me. If so. you're unable to stay for the whole presentation, please exit out through the doors located in the bag. And we invite you to come visit us when you need to stay for the whole presentation. It's always good to sit behind little ones because <laughs> they're not in your way. Back to work for you, Vernon Marie. Thank you for being here. You have a great day too. Hi Stitch, how are you? Stitch, I'm at Disney and it was Easter. I'm gonna mail your pin tomorrow. I have it. Well, I have it already well, in the dress. Carousel progress. We ask your parents to supervise the children and to please remain seated at all times. Thank you. Welcome to Walt Disney's Carousel of Progress. Ah, uh, you're in for a real treat. The Carousel of Progress was Walt's own idea from beginning to end. He loved it. He introduced the show at the World's Fair in New York City in 1964, and it was an immediate smash hit. Millions of people came to see it. And since then, the Carousel of Progress has had more performances than any other stage show in the history of American theater. You know, Walt loved the idea of progress, and he loved the American family. And he himself was probably as American as anyone could possibly be. He thought it would be fun to watch the American family go through the 20th century, experiencing all the new wonders as they came. And he put them together in a show called Carousel of Progress, which we are now about to see. Although our Carousel family has experienced a few changes over the years, our show still revolves around the same theme, and that's progress. May the century begin. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow. travel by train from New York to California in less than seven days. 
And I even hear tell about two brothers from North Carolina who are working on some kind of flying contraption. <laughs> It'll never work. Closer to home, we've now got gas lamps, a telephone, and the latest design in cast iron stoves. And that reservoir keeps five gallons of water hot in just three buckets of coal. Oh, boy, that sure beats chopping wood. And isn't our new ice box a beauty? Look at that. Holds 50 pounds. sour as quick as it used to. And our glass here keeps the water in the drip pan from overflowing. It wasn't too long ago we had carried water from a well. And thanks to progress, we've got a pump right here in the kitchen. Of course, we keep a bucket of water handy to prime it with. Yes, sir, we've got everything we need to make life easier. Say, Mother, I was reading about a fellow named Tom Edison who's working on an idea for snap-on electric lights. Electric lights? No more kerosene. No more gas. <laughs> Sarah sure gets to the core of the apple. But we do have this new wash a marble. Well, it takes me only five hours to do the wash. Imagine, it used to take two days. Well, that's right, folks. Now Sarah has time for other things like... Like canning uh, and cleaning the oven. Yes, dear. I know, dear. <laughs> and they probably never will. Now, if you'll excuse me, before it starts raining cats and dogs. Oh, uh, don't worry, Rover. She didn't mean real dogs. Besides, it's not going to rain today. My lumbago isn't acting up. I'm not going to say I told you so. Well, then you're going to come down. All you have to do is put your wash on the line, right? Oh, well, the cistern was low anyway. Wow, we look at that. Now, James, I thought I told you to ask my permission before using my new stereo scope. It's not a toy, you know. Ooh, a lot. So that's what you should bring a new Hey, Dad. Isn't she a knockout? She's the star of the New World's Fair in St. Louis. And <clears throat> now, you put that away before your mother finds it. Oh, Dad. You heard me. Well, we have one of those new talking machines. Now, that is something. It plays music right here in our home. There's a great big beautiful... She keeps that thing going all day long. Progress. Oh, Papa. Yes, Patricia. Papa, all these people. I'm, I'm indecent. <laughs> Don't worry, Patricia. They're friends. That's our teenage daughter. She's getting ready to go to the Valentine's dance across town on one of those new horseless trolleys. I think it's very romantic for taking Mother out for Valentine's Day. Well, you know what kind of sport I am. I only hope I have a evening as romantic as Now, you be home by 9 o'clock, daughter. You hear me? Oh, well, with all this talking, I've worked up quite a thirst. <laughs> I think I'll take one of those newfangled trolleys down to the drugstore soda fountain and meet the boys for a cold sarsaparilla. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot. We're drinking root beer now. Same kind of thing, different name. Well, that's progress for you. And uh, speaking of progress, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow shining at the end of every day. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow, and tomorrow is just a dream away. And there's a dream, and that's the start. Tomorrow's dream, my heart. since the turn of the century, over 20-some-odd years ago. You know that pilot fellow, Charles Lindbergh? He's about to fly a single-wing airplane all the way across the Atlantic. <laughs> He's never going to make it. And sports stadiums are springing up all over. And boy, nobody hits that old horse hide like that new fellow baby. Jazz music is the cat's piano. And there's been ads in the paper for months for a movie starring Al Jobson. And sing. Oh, boy, I've got to see that. <laughs> there goes
Schwartz and his Hupmobile. He sure loves that horn. You know, in my new Essex, I've got an electric starter. Now I don't have to crank. We can travel from New York to Los Angeles by train in only three days. And we've got a house full of new electrical servants. Mr. Edison sure added life to our home. <laughs> That's the third one this week. I buy fuses by the case. Uh -oh. And I blow the whole neighborhood again. Easy, Rover. Jimmy, hurry up with that fuse. Shucks. Every time he has company, he blows a fuse. And guess who always has to change it? I heard that, young man. I heard that. Oh, well, that's more like it. John, yours is the last costume I've got to finish before the parade starts. Sarah's Ladies Club is responsible for our town's 4th of July celebration tonight. She's got us all roped into performing in their program, and I've right? decided we're going to George and Martha Washington here. Oh, the father of our country. <laughs> That's a role that really fits me. You know, I'm I... I'm so glad we installed an electric light fixture here on the porch, because it's just too darn hot to be sawing inside. Yes, Sarah. You know, next year I'd like to go as Benedict Arnold. Wait until you see what I've got planned for the fireworks show tonight. Robert, don't interrupt while Sarah's interrupting. And guess who volunteered to choose the music for the program? I did, Pop. Listen to this. Oh, that's a nice tune, Jimmy. You know, with our new Crossley radio set, we can get news and big-time entertainment from all over the country, even Pittsburgh. Someone's starting to arrive downtown for a spectacular 4th of July parade and fireworks event. Oh, Patricia. Yes, Father. Better get a move on. The radio says folks are arriving downtown. Dear, if that happens, you'll always have that torch you can carry for him. <laughs> Calm down, Rover. I was only kidding. By the way, we have indoor plumbing now. Oh, boy, that's really great on cold nights, especially for our perennial house guest, old Uncle Orville. <laughs> Uncle Orville's taken over the coolest spot in the house, of course, and he's rigged up a real clever contraption. He calls it air cooling. <laughs> Too bad he's not reading the help wanted ads. No privacy at all around this place. Sorry, Orville. You know, considering all the... Oh, coming, Martha, as I was saying. Considering all the conveniences we now have, I'll say that we're really on easy street these days. It just can't get any better. Just goes to show that... <laughs> Yeah, I guess she's right. 
But we do have television <laughs> when it works. Gives you something to do after you come home. I kind of like it, you know? A guy named John Cameron Swayze gives us all the news. And then they have all this singing and dancing. A lot of fluff, but it's fun. You know, I predict the day when millions of people will learn Latin and Greek sitting in front of their TV sets. Give him a left to me, love. Ah, yes, a new age of electronic civilization is upon us. Hey, Dad, what do you think of my jack o' lantern? Oh, oh, boy, that's scary. That's because I'm using my beautiful sister Patty's picture for a model. <laughs> Down, no, Rover. Jim, Rover appreciates your joke. Now, you're always getting poor Patty. She's certainly prettier than either of you. You hear that? My daughter Patty is using that old exercise machine she rescued from the attic. It was all the rage in the 20s. Grandma, of course, had to have one. Didn't work then, doesn't work now. <laughs> Consistent at least. Makes a lot of noise and blows fuses. As I was saying, yeah, I think college is really swell. You should give it a try. Oh, man. these days. We're remodeling our basement of something called a, a rumpus room, and we're looking forward to a few rumpuses, I'll tell you, as long as they don't get out of hand. John, this papering is getting out of hand. I could use a little help. Now, Sarah, didn't I set up that clever automatic paint stirring machine for you? Yes, John, you're a genius. Of course, this will ruin my food mixer. Not that you'd care. Oh, good old Sarah, always the last laugh. What happened, Sarah? Oh, you and your progress. That paint mixer of yours just sloshed paint across my room. A rumpus, a room. <laughs> How do you like that? I always say if you're going to be married, marry a girl with a sense of humor. Well, it's time to move on. Let's cheer up Sarah by singing our song. Come on, everybody. There's a great big beautiful tomorrow Shining at the end of every day Beautiful tomorrow, and tomorrow was just a dream away. Man has a dream, and that's the start. He follows his dream with mind, heart, and well. It's a dream come true for you and me. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow, shining at the end of every day. Pleasant holiday. I don't know, turkeys in the oven and trees going quiet. Yes! Five points my best score yet. Well, it was baseball until Santa brought that new virtual reality space pilot game. Your turn, Grandma. Let's switch the image over to the TV so the resident flying ace can show you how it works. Now, it's a little tricky. Just use your game glove to fly behind the other guy and blast him with your laser blaster. Laser blaster? Well, I'll give it a try. Take a look around, Grandma. You're in the ship. Feels like I'm really there. Okay, get ready. You're about to blast off. Here goes nothing. Whoa. All right, here it comes. Oh, you missed him. Hey, everybody. I'm done programming our new voice activation system. Now all our household items will do anything we tell them to do. Great. Tell the refrigerator to bring me a root beer. Well, it can't quite do that. But I'll show you something it can do. Tree lights 30% brighter. Oh, that's no big deal. Anybody can do that voice activated stuff. Watch this. Robert, speak! John, the oven should respond to your voice commands now. Give it a try. Oh, okay. Here goes. 
Temperature to 375. Reminds me of certain people I know. Yeah, right, Dad. You gotta lose them, Grandma. Thanks to the right. Remember Dad's turkey last year? Yeah, I think. Really smoked up the place when it burned, didn't it? We ended up microwaving frozen pizzas. Well, no need to worry about the turkey this year. Not with an oven that will do anything your father tells it to do. Ooh, good shot. Did you see that? Dad, Grandma's up to 550 points. Could you say 550? Hey, she's getting the hang of that thing. I can't believe all the new gadgets they've got now. You know, in my day. Oh, no. You're not going to tell us about the old days when you didn't even have a car phone. Hey, Trish, for a while we didn't even have a house phone. Not to mention laser discs and high def TV. Everything is automated today, including. Well, that. No privacy is all around this place. Sorry, Orville. Anyway, you guys don't know how good you got it nowadays. You know, my grandpa told me the very same thing when I was a kid. Take that, you nincompoop! Hey, check it out, Dad. Grandma's up to 975 points. Wow, 975. <laughs> the shop over here we're gonna see if they may have that um, uh, small world spirit jersey that Mike was talking about that is great let's take a look too at the um, TTA and see what the um, time is on that David it's just like a classic you know it was Walt Disney's um, debuted that at the World's Fair in the early 60s and um, I can see them maybe like revamping it a little but hopefully they they don't close it all together 
Is this the people mover line? Let's see. About how long is this? About 25 minutes. 25 minutes. Okay, we're going to go and we're going to go to the shop. We'll see. There's still a pretty long line here for the TTA. You're welcome, Harvey. I was actually at the World's Fair as a baby with my parents when that debuted. I'm, my father was there for a convention and my mother went along with them and I was an infant and um, I uh, got to see that. I mean, I didn't see it. I don't remember anything, but <laughs> she, she saw it. I'm just going to walk through this way, Ron, just to um, stay out of the sun. Gina, your mom was there too? That's amazing. Or you can get a milkshake in here, some ice cream. I don't know about everybody. I know a lot of people can eat ice cream on, on hot days. I just can't do it. I cannot eat ice cream on warm days. Let me just, if I can scoot through here by chance. There we go. It's kind of tricky staying in the shade. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you everybody for being here. We appreciate it. If you haven't hit that thumbs up, consider hitting that thumbs up for us. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. This is something new. I haven't seen this. Look at that shirt. It was her high school graduation present. Her aunt took on the gray on this. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Okay, Ryan. I'm $39.99 on that. Okay. This is cute cup here, too. $19.99 on that cup. These are eight, these are pretty too with the gold. I didn't know these are $34.99 on that. Let's see what anything else we see new here. This all looks. I'm so glad I got this shirt. I wore it already. And um it's it's really nice. It goes with the hat. And then I have the sling bag too. This Disney Parks Life is nice too. It's a lightweight tee. Woody's Roundup. There's another shirt, um, Toy Story, that I saw in Disney style last night that I had never seen before. And it's on the same um, premise, similar premise here. Here it is. Here's the pretty blue again. Yeah. Look at that. It's so pretty. I love the blue. I just, like I said, I wish there was a tea. It's funny, now I walk through and I see, I don't think I buy that much, but then I walk through and I say, well, I have that t-shirt. And I have its hat. Um, actually, I have that with me. I haven't worn it yet. But most everything I get, I wear. Like I like, I, I get excited and I want to wear it um, right away. I have this uh, mini shirt on that I got um, in the Magic Kingdom um, the last time I was there with Regina. Let's see what else we have here. 
you don't see too much from like um, this would if you were a Cleveland Browns fan this would be a good hat for you brown and orange huh wouldn't monorail Molly like that Debbie she would like that hat brown and orange This is cute. Look at that. That looks new. I haven't seen that one. Oh my gosh, that's a spirit jersey. This is a kid size spirit jersey, but that's very cute. Yeah, these are all the kids' things over here. They've got some cute jewelry, too. Hi, Dawn. How are you? The, the blue. I know. I don't know if it has a name. I haven't seen it identified on any of the um, displays. I have not seen it identified. But let's look and see if there's anything on the tags. I don't think there is. Look. There's just never anything on these tags. There's never even a price. <laughs> but it's it's just so pretty. The sparkly bag. And um, I think the bag is $98. And that's because it's so sparkly. Yes the sequins it does have the pockets on the side and the front pocket it is I just wish that there was like another type of shirt a t-shirt that wouldn't be so warm for the summer with it now like they do have some stitch if you look at that blue shirt back there that stitch that's a summery shirt I mean you could put you know a light blue stitch shirt with the ears I mean the ears are really pretty too um, I didn't see, did they have the ears here? I don't see the ears here. But they do have the ears and they're $34.99. They have those over at the Emporium. Bye Debbie, you have a great day. The summer collection, it's so cute. Little beach bag. This is a really nice shirt. I can see that looking like being really cool for the summer. They have tank tops here too for the guys. $34.99. And the lounge fly. We saw that earlier in the Emporium. And they have this visor. I thought it's really cute. It's soft. It's terry cloth. Um, $29.99 on that. And that would look really cute with this beach bag if you wanted to wear the visor with the bag. Oops. Just a cute little sleeveless shirt there. And here they have um, a men's button down that's really nice. Look at that with Mickey and Minnie looking at the sunset. Very pretty. And this men's shirt is um, $64.99 on it. Give this the focus not cooperating but anyway it's 60 there it is 64.99 on that they have these like little slides that on the ladies foot there you have the slides hi Kathleen Stafford welcome in how are you you're new here well geez Welcome. I'm so glad you felt comfortable to come in to chat. And welcome to the Caruso crew. We're glad to have you. We're all friendly. We all like to chat and talk to you. Hi, Lamont Spray. Welcome. It's good to see you. I'll say hello to you, Kathleen. Let me say hello. Hi. Welcome in. You're never late. Whenever you show up, is fine. Um, we had a great day here today. We've done a lot. Um, we've we saw the parade, we saw the Dapper Dance, we rode the train, we did the Carousel of Progress, we heard Neil at Casey's Corner on the piano. Um, so we had a day of, of music and attractions and, and some always, always, we have to have shopping. 
we've got to always see what's new, Captain. So if you like looking at Disney merch, you've come to the right channel. Because I love Disney merch. Look at this little stitch bag. Isn't that cute? Now see, for me, though, this pocket, this is not good for me. Like, I need a wider pocket right here because I have things I have to put in the front of that bag. But for somebody that doesn't, um, it would be just fine. And here they have some plushes in here as well. <laughs> Wendy, what did you get at Publix? What's for dinner, Wendy? I lost one six times. That is true. We got to say that. I didn't introduce Kathleen yet to Ron. This blue cup is pretty too, you know? They, they're coming out with a lot of blue, $16.99 on that cup. Here's, this is a good shirt for Ron. Look, there he goes. He's in his chair with a drink. That's a good shirt, stitch shirt. Um, $29.99. I'm not sure how Ron feels about Stitch. Hi, Pickles. Welcome in. But they do. They have so much Stitch merch. Really, really a lot of Stitch merch. In the park as well as the plushes. Look at the real big plush they have at Stitch. Isn't that so Ron? My, that is him too. Oh my goodness. I wonder when that shirt runs. Let me see. Oh, there's no price on it. Oh, yeah, there it is. I'm sorry. I did say that. $29.99 on that shirt. All right. Here you have your little plushes. Are they, oh, these are the Wemos. Those are cute. There's Doug. Spider-Man Stitch. All the characters. There's a Winnie the Pooh there too. The spirit jersey. This really isn't a spirit jersey. This is like a sweatshirt. Um, it feels like the same. No, no, it, it's fleece. I think there's fleece in here. Which, like, I am so. Yeah, it is fleecy. See? It's not terry. It's like fleecy. So this would be very warm. Um, Krista, Kofa. Uh, the bag that I have on the lug bag, I don't think it is festival related at all. It's in the Italian pavilion, and as they get them in, I think it will continue to be here. They have um, the backpack lug, and they have the smaller crossbody um, lug. Whoops, huh? Whoopsie doopsie, somebody dropped something. All right, let's see if Ron's, um, let's see what he's doing. You like the shirt and the colors? But I did not see what we were looking for. There's my Ron, Kathleen. Say hi to Kathleen. She's new in chat, Ron. All right, there he is. You like the shirt? I'm a one finger typer, Kathleen. But you can type. Are you talking to Chad or somebody else? Uh, no, no. Mike. Oh, our son Mike. He's talking. Hi, MCF. Broken things made of glass. I know. Watch your step. All right, let's take a walk, Ron. Oh, oh, Kofi wanted to know about that red bag. I don't know if you I answer. told her, yeah, yes, I told her. And super high quality. Yeah, it's very high quality. If you, um, you know, get that bag, um, if you want that bag, um, I can continue to look for it, um, Chris, Sarah. Let me know um, when I'm in the park. And, and really, I, I should pick it up for you when I'm there because... That was me screaming. Um, <laughs> that was not you screaming, right? <laughs> so funny. I can smell the hamburgers here from the Starlight Cafe. <laughs> yeah, when they come in, you kind of got to grab them. You like the pastel colors on that. That was a pretty sweatshirt, but Ellie, it... Um, like where you're at, it would be good probably, but like in Florida here for me, I'm done, I think, buying that. Even though I would really love to have that powder blue spirit jersey, I think I just have to concentrate on short sleeves. I'm on if yeah. I'm gonna buy. I did buy um, last night, oh my, I got the Luminous t-shirt last um, night. I got the Luminous t-shirt. Last yesterday, actually, in Epcot, as I was leaving, I picked up that t-shirt. What other t-shirt did I buy? I bought a second shirt. Oh, I bought the white orange bird t-shirt. Yes, I'll wear it the next time I'm in Epcot and I'm gonna stream Luminous. I'll After wear you buy the it, sweatshirt. it takes a couple weeks to get the bag open. Where are you going here? <laughs>
<laughs> no, it doesn't. I have it. It's out. Hi, Ghost Host. How are you? Welcome in, Ghost Host. Is there a long line for the teacups? I'm wondering. I got to get my phone out and look at wait times. And a uh, dog, just because I know you keep track and worry about it, I, I am charging. Um, I did check um, when we were in uh, Carousel of Progress, and um, I am charging. Ron, let's go in the teacups. Uh, you go in there. I'm waiting for a call from Michael. Well, uh, oh, it's 25 minutes. No, I don't want to wait. But let's walk down to the big top, and we're going to look in that gift shop down there because they get the things first, and they might have this small... Um, world Jersey. So we'll just take a, a walk. It's right down here. We're going to walk down to the big top. The wait times, the park is crazy right now. So, so busy. It's 2.53. Um... Let me see the times here coming up. Of what is coming up? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at my streaming time. It's 2.44. I've been streaming for 2 hours and 53 minutes because I started a little early. Oh, my gosh. Can you believe a lug advertisement came up on my phone? I swear they're listening to you. An advertisement for a lug bag came up on my oh, phone. Oh, they Just definitely. right now. It's the, crazy. The Did you guys experience that? Time. It's fat. Ghost has why be here at the end of the month. I am actually going on a cruise. We're leaving on the 27th. Yep. Um, and April we're 5th. coming back April, uh, yeah, May, 5th. May 5th. ABC so Island. We're, so we're going on an eight-day cruise. Carousel. So I will not be here, unfortunately, the end of the month. Why are you coming, Ghost Coast? You're coming the 26th to the 29th. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry. I'm going to miss you. Ron, you know, I've, I, Ron has to get his cruises in. And um, he really enjoys them. And so we kind of compromise, you know. I'll always stream when we're on a cruise. Um, you know, try to, and I do a vlog of the ship. So anybody that's thinking about a cruise can go out and take a look at it and see what they think um, and usually I'll uh, stream at the different ports of call too all right we've got this we've got the pizza the treats trying to see if we see any small world here's some of the 2024 merch they still have over here All of this. You're doing a Disney cruise. Oh, wow, May 2025. I have to try and talk my husband into that, Kathleen. I really do. I have to talk him into a Disney cruise. He likes to get, like, a good deal. We live in South Florida, so, like, we don't have to buy airfare or anything. This is the shirt I'm wearing right now. We just drive to the cruise port um, or take the train um, from what, from Palm Beach County uh, down to either Fort Lauderdale or Miami. And look, they have the um, they have a sweatshirt like this too. Oh my gosh, Vicky, you can hardly see. I'll try to describe things to you. This is a mini shirt here. It's really cute. It's um, red, white, and black, and um, it looks really cute with that lug bag. This is a cute shirt too. Pink's always a great color. I love pink. And let's see. This one's $34.99. A 
Love the characters they picked for Speaking that. Speaking of Pink, remember we saw Pink before she was famous in uh, Hawaii. Oh, Pink, yeah, the yeah, uh, yeah. singer. We were yeah. wondering who she was. Everybody, her hair our was, crew pink. was in Pink. That was funny. All right, we're just looking. They have some. This is a cute. Um, this is a huge backpack. This is bigger That's than the. Good. That is a huge backpack. This is a lot bigger than the one I got. Ron, turn around, let. Oh, maybe it's well, not. Maybe it's, maybe it's the it's same. The same. It, it just looks same. big, doesn't it? Yeah. It's the same. I got Ron this one um, at the Disney Character Warehouse in the Sawgrass Mills Mall um, in uh, Sunrise, Florida, which is near Fort Lauderdale. Um, it was twenty-four ninety-nine. Now let me see this one. And yeah, this one that was probably the regular price. This one here is fifty-four ninety-nine. We just caught that like a week or so. Yeah. Uh, maybe last a, trip. With last trip. Yeah, we went and I streamed at the Disney the uh, Character Shopper. Warehouse <laughs> with Regina Erie. Yeah. yeah. Here's some forty percent off items from the movie Wish. This is unusual to see so quickly. $22.99. This would be like a child's bottle to me that they would maybe put in their lunch box. Here's a drink cup here. $14.99. Um, here's ears from Wish. Gold sparkles with a blue bow. And your little star in the middle for $34.99. But these are all 40% up. So you take 40% off. And then you would get a pass holder discount on top of that if you are an annual pass holder. So that comes out to a pretty good discount. But they also have the hat. Oh, Disney Plus is streaming Wish tomorrow. Thank you for that, MCM. This is a cute shirt. I missed it at the theater, so I am definitely going to put that on the to-do list. Here's the big wish pillows. These are soft. These are like squished mallows. This small one isn't soft and squishy, though. This is kind of hard. Sir Mickey's might have the small, oh, the small world jersey, yes. That's like um, right behind the castle at Sir Mickey's. So we can kind of go back that way. All right, let's see. We'll look around on this side just to make sure. Lots of plushes in here. This Donald looks kind of crazy. And look at his eyes. Some of the eyes on these characters. I don't know. Ron needs to buy another condo to help us. <laughs> oh gosh, no, no. He he can um, he can take as long as he wants, Chris, to get this one done. I just let him take his good old time. He can work and have his little project for as long as it takes. Twenty two ninety nine. Here's the castle. We bought this for our granddaughter Lila for Christmas two years ago. Ninety-nine. We got it on thirty percent off days there. These are cute. These are all the little characters. I call them bath toys because and take them in the bathtub. All the different characters here. So they have toys in here. What, the, what are these? Oh look, and they buy these tubes. Here, here's your tube and then you can fill it up with, um, we used to call these pixie sticks when we were kids. Do you remember pixie sticks? Here's all the flavors they have. Do you remember Ron pixie sticks? Sweet watermelon. They have root beer. That would be good, I bet. Sour watermelon. Oh, they have wild cherry, Ron. You like wild cherry. Rice Krispie treats. 
four forty nine. Five five ninety nine. Oh, give Drifter a nice petting and hug from me. Chris from the Curtis family is going out. He's taking Drifter out to see some kiddos at their local autism facility. That's really nice. Drifter's a smart dog, for sure. Set of these Joey Chu, Chow Chu. All right, well, that's about it. I don't see any spare jerseys in here, Ron. Let's take a walk up through, um, see if we can look um, at a, this store near the castle. They do have a lot of pins in here, though. Like they have sets of four. Starter sets. There's villains. Here's a pin set from all the different lands here in the Magic Kingdom. I like that. That's a yellow. That's the middle price pin. I think it's $14.99. Yep, there we are. $12.99 for silver. Yellow is $14.99. And pink is $16.99. Lots of pins in here, too, if you like to shop for pins. And they're, like, organized into different genres of pins. All righty. Wendy wanted to know where this was at. Oh yeah, we're right back here. We're at the Big Top, um, Big Top Souvenirs, Wendy, right here, back by um, the train and train station and Dumbo, which is right here, and the Barnstormer is is back there. The, uh, sun, the Storybook Circus. Right here. Yep. All right, Ron, let's go. Um, wait, let's, we gotta go this way in front of the carousel. Right. We want it because um, we're gonna go. Yeah, yeah, we can. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm getting turned around. A good thing for a slot. <laughs> Chris ought to get you a guide dog. I I just forget where I am. Hi, Jersey Mike. Welcome in, Jersey Mike. Jersey Mike, do you and Ron to have a date that you're coming back? Because I wanted to um, get a boat and uh, out into um, the lagoon um, where Luminous, to see Luminous. And I think we can have like 10 people. And I was just trying to figure out a time maybe when everybody could um, get together and take that boat out, it would be fun. Next week, oh wow, okay. Well, we're gonna be there the 14th through the 19th. But that's kind of like another week away. We're, we're too far down, Ron. What? We're way too far down. You took me to get stones. So we have to make a left. Yeah, we can do it. But well, I would have preferred to go up. The gray we're, stuff. Yeah. Here's Gaston's Bakery. Hi, it's me, David T. How are you? Okay. Okay, Mike. Sounds good. Oh, great, great. I talked to Ryan and Lola, and they're on board. So we'll get a bunch of us together and we'll go out there and watch Luminous from the water. I think it will be fun. 
You want to see if the I want to go cupcakes? into Yeah, let's see if they have the gray stuff cupcakes. I don't know if they still do. If they do, I'm going to probably get one if the line's not too long. Let's look. No, they have the cinnamon rolls. These are where the best cinnamon rolls are in the Magic Kingdom, everyone. If you haven't had a cinnamon roll here, you got to try them. But um, I, I really say that they're big enough to share. Steve's World would disagree with me on that because I think he can eat a whole one. But let me just look at um, what they have here. <gasps> they do. They have the gray stuff cupcake. Look at that. There it is. The gray stuff cupcake. Ooh, and the warm cinnamon roll. Can you get me one? Yeah. Yeah. I have to get in line. We'll get in line here. So here's what they have. Um, they have they have this LaFou's brew here that is $13.99 in a souvenir stein. Um, they've got different juices. What is that? Um, oh, it's I guess that's it's a frozen minute made apple juice with a hint of toasted marshmallow topped with fruit flavored foam. And if you want a souvenir cup, it's $13.99. If not, it's $6.79. And you can also get a um, ham provolone and Swiss sandwich right here. And the price on that is $11.29. Here's the warm cinnamon bun for $6.99. And there's the gray stuff cupcake. That is delicious. They took that away for a long time, and I kind of quit coming back here, but I see it's back. It smells, <laughs> those people are saying how good it smells in here. It does smell very good in here. Can I see the stream? Are we lagging? Somebody said YouTube lag. Oh, YouTube lag for him maybe, but we look good. Or maybe it's like a little bit later in the stream. Do you want something, Ron? They have drinks. I'm going to take it to go. Okay. Yeah, they'll put it in a plastic container. We'll tell her. See, there it is. Look, there's the cupcake right there. Look how good that looks. And the gray stuff is gray. And look how big the cinnamon roll is. I'm gonna show. I'm gonna show that cinnamon roll. <laughs> there we go. It's a big cinnamon roll. It's nice in here. It is like, no, no, I don't want to eat it in here. I'm going to put it in the bag because I don't want to eat it in here. It's too messy. Extra icing for the roll. I don't know that we're going to get a cinnamon roll. Maybe I should get a couple cinnamon rolls for dessert tonight. I can take them over. We can cut them up. With coffee. Um, okay, I hope you want to get a bunch of cupcakes for today. I think that's going to be hard to carry cupcakes. Guys, if you missed Steve's World last night, check out Steve World stream. Um, I was on that stream. Um, last night with him and Ron here and uh, Rai Guy and Lala. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, can I get a um, Gray Stuff cupcake to go like in a plastic container? Do you have a little... Have to be laid on the side. That's okay. Yeah. It still tastes the same, right? If you lay it on your side. Let me get two. 
two of them. Two of them. Okay. Twelve seventy-six. Yeah, check out the stream. It was fun. We had dinner at um, Homecoming in Disney Springs. We did a lot of shopping. We looked at some art. Um, we tried to take the hot air balloon ride, and it was running all night. The air fell, and then when we got out of dinner, the wind kicked up, and they shut it down. They shut it down if there's, you know, over a certain amount of wind over there in Disney Springs. We should have done it before dinner, you know, that um, the hot air balloon. It is the same thing, Tim. Um, it's it's the. Um, Gray stuff that they serve at Be Our Guest. Do you have a bag by chance? Uh, no, but if no. you go into the merchandise store, they'll give us a bag. Okay, thank you. Okay, so Ron got the cupcakes, show you what they look like here. Turn them around the other way. Face the church. Yeah, there you go. Okay, there's the cupcakes, guys. They look really good. We're gonna get a bag over here. They said they'll give us a bag for them. I'll go in here and look around a little bit. I think we swallowed that whole. Yeah. This is a part of the Magic Kingdom a lot of people forget about. Don't forget to come back here. It's really nice. Look at that dress. This is really nice. Look at this, $180 um, for the stained glass window. And this is um, the window that you'll see in Be Our Guest Restaurant. It's very pretty. I wonder what this is. Is this just like a ledger book? Or just like a... Yeah, look at that. It's just a book there you can write in. Here's a little storybook play set, Beauty and the Beast for the kids. Oh, they have some of the home collection right here from the home store. There's the soap dispenser. I like the soap dispenser. It's really nice. It's really heavy, too. Very heavy. It's not plastic. It's glass. It's refillable. Yeah, it has pictures all through it. It's a journal. Look at that. That's like a cheese tray, meat and cheese tray. Here's some trivets. Those are pretty. We have some plates right here. There's a throw. This gray shirt is nice here. Look at that. Just has the castle on it. That's a little pricey. Um, $39.99. Usually it's like $5 more, and I don't know. It's because this is actually embroidered right here. This is embroidered, but this is not. I'm trying to see if there's anything different here. That's really a pretty pink set. Look at that. It's like a sweatshirt, and they have the matching sweatpants with it. Yeah, Doug, I know. It really is, isn't it? It's just gotten busier as the day went on. Here is a nice sweatshirt here, too. This is very pretty. This is embroidered right here. I like when there's embroidery on it. This is not, but um, $59.99 on this, which isn't too bad. And it's not fleece. So this is more like a spirit jersey. This is just like a spirit jersey, not fleece, not too hot. And then the matching ears right here, which are really cute. And the ears, believe it or not, that are only $34.99. Usually these kind of ears that have a little decal and that are sparkly are upwards of $44. So a little snow glow.
$34.99 on that. That was always a problem, like taking on the airplane in your bags, so all those snow gloves. You have to pack them in your carry-on. It does look comfortable, doesn't it, Corby? This is kind of cute, too. But this is like, oh, this is so soft. This is just so soft, but it's heavy, but it's very pretty. And here we have some princess dresses for the girls with a little um, choker for Cinderella. And Snow White has the jewelry. Very cute. Hi, Angie Sparkly Pink Diamonds. Welcome in. Great to see you. Here's another shirt. Um, this looks like kids, too. It's Anna and Elsa. That's cute. That's a sweatshirt, and it has, like, a little lacy bottom. Love it. All right. Oh, I think I spy some Vera Bradley up here. I do. Here's Beauty and the Beast. Vera Here's a Vera, Brad Vera Bradley run. Vera Bradley. Anytime you get a name, that means it's just triple. No, remember Vera Bradley? They showed us her house when we were on the... From you, from oh, yeah, Tiki, yeah. yeah, you remember. Well, that's why her stuff costs. Yeah, this is a pretty beach bag. This is I have a Vera Bradley beach bag, but I got it at the outlet. I'm a just I am a bargain shopper. I like the good stuff, but I like to get it like either at the warehouse or the outlets. And um, usually unless I really really like and want something, like I wanted that luminous shirt, and I I'll just pay full price if I really really want it but um usually i'll just wait and i'll see what comes to the warehouse <laughs> all right walk straight i always up forget but this is my favorite restaurant be our guest because everybody always asks what's your favorite to mention that Julie I am going to be um, interviewed twice um, in the next week I am going to appear on Dip Zippity Doo Doug tomorrow at 7 p.m. and then I'm also going to be on the Pete McDivitt show's Clubhouse Chaotic Chat on um, the 7th Sunday the 7th at 6 Doug's is Wednesday the 7th uh, at 7 and Pete's is Sunday uh, at 6 p.m. Yeah. This is Be Our Guest Restaurant. Yeah, that's nice. And um, it's really a nice place. Ron and I really enjoy eating there. The thing about it is, like, it's a fixed price menu and it's gotten kind of expensive but we like to get the filet so we feel like we get our money it is, worth. It is, it, is a, it really is such a good filet i mean i think it rivals um uh really like we any anyone i mean we've eaten in yeah. uh, in canada at um la Cellier, and um it was very good and, but we, we do like it here at uh, Be Our Guest. <coughs> Thank you, Doug, for putting that in. They're doing photo shots. Isn't that a nice photo shot right there? We're getting a good one. Hey, Doug, throw uh, Main Street Nick's uh Thing in the chat he needs one more subscriber for 600 oh yes my son street nick my, uh, he has a channel called main street nick he does shorts and vlogs and um he is at 5.99 for subscribers we need one more subscriber over to main street nick to get him over the 600 mark that would be great if we could do that thank you tiki man fan Oh, Vicky! Vicky's gonna subscribe. Thank you, Vicky. I usually would not do that, but um, in this case, it's just one more that he needs. We're gonna look here in Sir Mickey's, and this is our last chance to find 
the small world spirit jersey, if it is anywhere, which so far haven't seen it. Where are you going? Right here? Okay. All right. And I'm going to just start out asking a cast member right here. Hi, how are you? Do you have the new Small World Spirit jersey in here by chance? They told me to check here. They're the ones who said they don't have it, but maybe you would, and maybe the big top. Well, the big part doesn't have it either. So you don't have it either. Okay, that's fine. No, go, no go, guys. It's not here. We'll just look around. This is like usually all for the children in here. There are some adult jerseys. Here we have. We have all the dolls over here and a lot of different princess dresses. Anything that they could want. Um, I'm sure they have their choice um, here over in the Bibbidi Bob Boutique. If they're going to, to do that um, to get made up over there in Bibbidi Bob Boutique. They probably have a choice of all these dresses if they want to buy their dress there. I think you can bring your dress too or wear it. Oh, thank you, Mike. Thank you. That's so nice. Oh, I'll be so happy. Ron, are you ready? He can't sing. Hear me. You ready? Yeah. We'll walk around here. Just take you for a walk around. They're beautiful, beautiful. Oh, look at that. They get so excited. There's a quick 600 to 1,000 bucks down the tubes. <laughs> oh, well, we don't know exactly. They are completely out of that poo lug bag, um, Ellie. I looked yesterday with Cy um, in the UK, and they do not have any more of this. But I think Regina decided that um, she looked at the size of the lug, and I think she decided that um, it was a little bit too small for her. What was the guy saying? Oh, he was introducing them as princesses the new princesses that were going to rule the kingdom and they were going to keep the taxes low <laughs> for everybody. Yeah, that's for, what's that called? That girl's called? Uh... We saw the parade already, MCM. We saw the parade. First thing at noon today. We are stuck in the parade. This is not going to be good. Here, Okay, I think I'm back, guys. I'm sorry. Yes, we got into the hub, and there were all those people there. And um, so let me know. Yes, and I'm, I'm back right now. But anyway, um, we were going to uh, just take a walk down Main Street and sign off because I've been streaming for three and a half hours. And um, I think it's time that we do that. And, and Ron stayed out there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to give you this pretty, pretty background to look at right here. Um, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye everybody. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Jennifer Carusa.
Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, I live stream Disney from the Disney parks. I vlog. I do uh, cruises and travel and adventure. I appreciate you. I hope you come back. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. And yes, follow me on Instagram. I put everything on Instagram um, that I'm doing. I'll put all my streams on there. I'll also put family pictures and things about um, what I'm doing in the South Florida area. And I just love Disney World. I love being here in the Magic Kingdom. I love being here with all of you. And um, again, I just thank you for being here. My husband, Ron, would be saying goodbye too, but he's outside. He'd probably be putting fingers up here like this and doing silly things to me. So I'll just do it on his behalf. <laughs> all right, everybody. Thank you so much. Let me give you something pretty to look at while we sign off. There we go.